Got right here the coolest teapot. Check this out. Whenever you boil water, it's actually going to spin and that way you know, okay, water is ready to be taken off. There's a lot of our teapots on eBay like that and the most of them is kind of damaged or missing one or two parts. But this one is the coolest. You see you have different horses. Looks like two different horses. So anyways, let's fill it in. Looks like it says open this way. And I'll show you how it works in a little bit. You see there's a couple of pipes in there. That's cool. Anyway, so we're gonna fill it up with water. I'm just gonna do like a half a teapot, maybe a little bit less. On the other side, it shows how to close it. Obviously, you wanna make it tight or it's not going to work. So just put it in and spin, okay? Uh, handle needs to be tightened up a little bit. Next, we're gonna put it on a stove and turn it on and wait till the water boils and see what happens. Okay, it's starting to simmer. Very loud simmer, that's for sure. But it's not spinning yet. Oh, there you go. Oh my God, it sounds like a train. Like a steam engine. Do you hear that, guys? Wow, this is amazing. And obviously, the more it's going to uh, boil, the faster it's going to go. The coolest teapot ever. Whoa, look how fast it's going. So it's actually making quite a nice loud noise. So you will hear it pretty easily. Check this out. I'm going to shut it off. So it will slow down. But yeah, it makes plenty of a good noise. Check this out, guys. Slowing down. And it's done. Do you see the steam puffing? Okay, let's turn it on again. It's boiling, so it should be pretty quickly. Look at that, teapot carousel. Wow, it takes a lot of steam for it to start uh, spinning. That's pretty cool. So it's making sure it's going to boil and start spinning once it starts boiling heavily. I give it a little push. <laughs> So yeah, pretty awesome. Making quite a nice noise. Wow, it going fast. Turn it off again. And we'll slow down pretty quickly. Amazing. I can't believe it works too. I think I paid like 50 bucks plus shipping. Love it. So obviously then you open this nozzle. Ooh, that's a lot of steam, yeah. So that way you can actually pour it over it. So I have here a bunch of onions. Let's see what happens. Start with the smaller one. Wow, this is so nice and easy. With the onion chopper that I have different, it's kind of like bending. And a lot of times, whenever I go like this, it won't break on me. But this is nice. Still having struggle with the big onion, so you want to go like very decisive but still wow this is nice the way this operates very very good i like that and almost don't start and look how much onions we have chopped and it's a small small pieces so we use this for tacos many many recipes i love that let's compare it to my old onion chopper this is my fourth one because it keep breaking over here especially or like on the side so this is the way I have to chop it, you see, and with the big onions, it's kind of giving trouble. You see? With bigger onions, it doesn't work that well. Versus this one, I don't know how, maybe it's because it's a thicker plastic. Even a bigger onion, you see, barely can fit. Look at that. Just be very decisive, and it just eats through it. So if you ask me, whoops, forgot to put the insert, but makes sense, right? This is right here, much, much better onion chopper for sure. So I'm gonna probably stick with this one because this one keep breaking. It is a really nice onion chopper. It just doesn't work that well with this kind of onions. 
with the bigger pieces of onions. You see, I don't know what's happening. There you go. It finally went too. It still does a good job. It uh, chops it really fine. Uh, almost finer than this one. So I still like it. But uh, yeah, it's just having trouble chopping it. You see, it's a little bit finer this one. But this one has a little bit more power. And of course, the coolest part is you have your other option to use this for. I like to take off the blade to be safe. You can use this blade or you can use the shader, the cutter, whatever you decide you're going to use it for. And this is when you do want to wear one of these things. Okay, there is one, two, three. Let's say I want kind of onion ends. I'll probably put the smaller end to it. This is a med medium onion. Okay, maybe a bit too small. Let's do it on three. There you go. Wow, sliced it up really, really good. Now you can take this out and see what you got. This is on tea. This is perfect. Very, very skinny. So if you ask me, this is way better onion slicer and you have all these different attachments you could also use it with and it stores nice and neatly. Pretty cool. I got it here a bunch of vintage strainers. I like how they're all metal and high quality. They're a little bit different. So that's why I bought them, even they look the same. So anyways, let's put them to the test. So first of all, I'm going to put to the test this one. It's perfect for this large mouth dip pens. So I soaked up a bunch of beans. You know, you got to soak them up and then you got to strain them and stuff. Okay, there goes nothing. All the beans are still in there. Beautiful. I can even give a little shake. Look how much beans there is. I put a whole bag in there and we stain most of it beautiful i mean most of the water the problem with this ones they're just a bit too small uh but we can try it anyways on this part first of all except this one you have to hold it the other way like that so you see how this one will hold into it and you gotta hold it like that it will push into it you see what i'm talking about this will push into this thing and so yeah this is actually nice and shake it all out look at that nothing have fallen out very good one more time we'll use this one and then we'll switch the parts try to do it with the different part same thing you kind of have to hold it like that pull it all out you can wash it rinse it whatever whoops very cool i have another very unique one with the spring over here but this one more like for the pots. Less, this is actually something really cool, look at that. There's a grabber, there's a lip, so it will grab on, on the lip. Whoopsie. And I just broke off a piece. It's okay, it still works. It's just very, very old gadget. And so, you could just grab it and pull it all out and not worry about holding it. This is nice because it can really put it upside down and shake it off and nothing will come off from it. You see how it's grabbed over here and grabbed over here. There was going to be another one here, but I broke off a piece. Oh well, it doesn't even really matter. I'm going to be using this one anyways. This is why I don't like the plastic things because they break easily. I wish it was actually made out of metal too. But as you can see, this one is the best if it didn't break. But I have another one, let's put it back into here, one for the pot because this one you see, I guess it's big enough for that, but I think it fits even better with handles like that, look how nice that is. And you don't have any plastic, this is just wood over here, and just pull it over. And the best part is because it has so much grub, you can almost put it upside down and shake it. Make sure all of the water comes up. And one more time with the bigger part, this is, might be the best winner. You see how there's a wide lid, 
so you just hold it like that and then just pull it over whoops almost a bit too small it works best like that so that way the water doesn't over spill to the side one more time because it fits perfectly you see the water will come out only from those holes so yeah anyways there you go some vintage stainers i like this one the most but it broke on me unfortunately 